Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Katie. I'm a registered dietitian with White Earth Public Health and I have Gail here cooking with me today. Hi, I'm Gail. I work with White Earth Public Health. Today we are making a 30 minute minestrone soup. So I really love soup any time of the year. Unfortunately, I told Gail it's like 80 degrees outside and not soup weather, but I came across this recipe a few weeks ago and it really caught my eye because it's a 30 minute soup and normally turnaround time with soup isn't quite like that. So I really wanted to share with you. And the best part of this minestrone soup um, is any vegetable goes. So use what you have. You can follow what we're doing today um, or make it how you'd like it. So we hope you enjoy. To start, we have a soup kettle with a drizzle of oil in it, which we have heated. Now we will add our veggies. We have two medium cut up carrots one celery rib, thinly sliced, and one small onion chopped. I just put them all in one bowl. I didn't tell Gail that, so sorry. Oh, that's perfectly <laughs> fine. And then we're gonna add also a cup of cabbage and two teaspoons of garlic minced. And I think I have a little bit more than one cup of garlic there. And there's our garlic. I think I'm gonna stir that around, Gail. So we'll just stir to kind of coat the oil so everything will saute up nice. We'll just kind of let them cook for about five minutes, probably stirring on and off so they don't burn. Um, now we're using all fresh vegetables, so we're going to want to saute everything because that will help with the cooking process. Um, but if you want to use frozen vegetables, that would work as well as can. The frozen, you maybe just want to do this enough to take the, the thaw out of them if you haven't um, defrosted them. Um, and with your liquid or your canned vegetables, excuse me, you can just throw those in when you add in your liquid. So just cook how you think seems accordingly. Our veggies are cooked to tender. We are ready to add our liquids. So we have three cups of water, one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, My and three beef bouillon cubes. My pot's really big for the amount that we're making, so. Well, when I make soup, I do like I tend five to, times a batch and then I yeah. freeze it in individual I containers. do the same, yes, and keep growing. And I didn't have beef bouillon cubes, so I'm just using like a beef broth base. This isn't the best, obviously, low sodium choice, so, you know, add your ultimates. Um, you can obviously use that or whatever works best for you. So now we will bring this to a boil and let it simmer for about 20 minutes until the vegetables are done to your liking. So this is where I would add a can of green beans just because I really like green beans in the minestrone soup. But today we're gonna to finish it off with one cup of cooked elbow macaroni. I wasn't quite sure if it was one cup uncooked or cooked, but I'm just gonna do half. So, you know, kind of, make it how you would like it um and like gail mentioned you know any type of vegetables would go well in the soup now if you're watching your carbs and um, pasta isn't something you want to add it's definitely not needed um or you could go with um wild rice i'd cook it first wild rice you could do quinoa um zoodles beans would be wonderful any variety of beans um in here even in addition to the pasta that would add some protein um but you could also do meat in here as well so you know make it how you'd like it this i tasted it it tastes amazing how it is so i would not add anything else so thanks for joining us and we hope you enjoyed our take on minestrone soup and remember to check out whiteearth.com for today's recipe gail gus thinking you with me all right thanks, thanks for watching see you next week